Hey ladies, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a brick wall in your business interior drawing. So we've already got our nice little subdivision lines that we made down here. Just make sure that each section has a nice X inside of the box. Most of these X's are already done, but just make sure that these first two are nice and crisscrossed. So everything kind of looks the same to start out. Now along your left side of your picture plane here, we already have these two little half inch um, orthogonals coming out. So go ahead and continue on that trend. Put little tick marks every half inch along your wall to get these bricks started. Now if you're working on a bigger piece of paper, you might want to spread them an inch apart so that you don't have so many little tiny bricks. My paper is pretty small, so I'm going to do a half inch. Go ahead and take your ruler. And from each of those tick marks, draw yourself an orthogonal line to the vanishing point. Now we have a back wall over there, so you don't need to draw the orthogonals on the back wall. You can stop them about where the back wall starts. So you can see I'm just stopping right there. And just do this for all of your tick marks. Now notice that we have these vertical lines left over from when we did our subdivision. Go ahead and take your ruler, and from those vertical lines, try to get your ruler nice and straight. Go ahead and continue them up along the wall. Kind of like you're just making a tile floor, but we'll change things up just a little bit in just a moment. Now the important thing to remember about bricks is that the lines between them are not in a perfect grid. They alternate with every other row of bricks. So what I am doing is I'm just going to take my eraser and then in every other orthogonal line, I'm going to erase those vertical lines that we just made. So you're going to have something that looks a little bit like this when you're done. Okay, so now we've got to figure out where these other vertical lines go in between these. So notice these X's that we have on our subdivision grid. Line those intersections up of those X's. Get your ruler nice and vertical. And in the orthogonals that don't have any vertical lines in them right now, go ahead and just add some in. So you get this when you're done. So go ahead and just continue this process with those orthogonal lines, adding in those vertical lines to help create your brick wall. Remember to line those X's up, find those intersections, and just continue on with this trend. Once you've made your way all the way to the back wall, you have got your bricks. Now what we can do, because we still have these extra little subdivision lines, you can go ahead and erase those up. Erase those X's that are on the inside, but leave those orthogonal lines. And you can continue to just touch up your bricks as you go but this little grid that we made down here can just be part of our bricks. You can use this method in creating a wood floor as well. That's what I did on the floor in this drawing. Just every other orthogonal line, I added in a horizontal somewhere. And that's a good way to create a nice irregular pattern. Thanks for watching.